Hi folks, Smudge here and welcome to Mastering in the Box, your home for simple guidance on digital mastering and digital audio. Sometimes it's really difficult to get excited by new plugin releases, but occasionally one comes along that really blows me away. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do a phone test in real time and how you can collaborate with artists, bandmates and clients, and best of all, for free. So let's get into it. So the plugin I'm going to show you today is the plugin by Sonobus, and it's a network audio streaming plugin which is fantastic to use either over a local network or over the internet, and it allows a low latency audio streaming. And it's such a great featured plugin because it's available on multiple platforms on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS or Android, which I'll show you for the phone tests. And whilst it's free and open source, I would recommend if anyone can afford to donate to Sonobus, please do so. We need to be supporting these small companies. I think this is going to be an absolutely amazing plugin for a lot of people. And you don't have to pay a month for your annual subscription, which you do with a lot of the other um, providers of similar type plugins. So please support these small companies if you have the capability to do so. So once you've downloaded the plugin, you want to add the plugin to the post section of your master channel. For this particular video, I'm using Studio One Artist because I'm currently working on a Mastering 101 series, but it's incredibly important you put this in the post section. And the reason I'm saying this is you want to make sure that whoever you're sending the stream to or whether you're listening to it on your phone, you want to make sure that the stream comes post all of your plugins, all of your automation and everything. So if you put it in the post section of your master channel, you know that what you're going to hear on the stream on the other end is going to be exactly how you have finished your mix or master. So if we open up the plugin here, because this is a stereo file, we want to make sure the send is set to stereo, but we can do multi-channel or mono. And then what you need to do is click connect. Once we click connect, you can either put this into a private group or a public group. But let's just say I want to use a private group. I want to put the group name down and add a simple password, just so people who are collaborating with, you know that it's not going to get into the wrong hands. And then you just add in your display name. So let's quickly change this here to smudge and then you want to click connect group and this is now set up the group so you can stream this information to whoever you want to stream it to now let's head on over to the mobile phone i'm going to show you how to do this on the phone test the next step is to download the application onto your phone of choice for this example i'm using my iphone 12 pro and i've downloaded the app from the app store so if i click on the sony bus app and just wait for that to load up quickly and it's quite a simple interface. It matches the interface on the computer. And as you can see, there's a message at the top of the screen that says audio input is muted to avoid a feedback loop. Now that's quite important because if you unmute the input, you will get a feedback loop if you've got monitors or if you've got a microphone that's live, which you don't want. So make sure that the input is set to um, mute if you're doing a phone test. If you want to collaborate in real time, if you're not using something like Zoom, then you can have the option to unmute the input. You just want to make sure that whatever you're hearing on the other end, you know, you just want to make sure there's no feedback loop issues. So then what we can do is then click connect and you'll see we have the option to click to a private group and I've already put in the group name of MITB, put the password in and my display name is going to be Darren's iPhone. So if I click connect to group, and it's going to take a little while to load up. And as you can see, we now have the, the group already connected to the phone. And if I mute the output onto my speakers, if I then play the track through the door, it comes through the mobile phone. Now there is one other thing I want to show you quickly, which is the actual send quality. Now this is quite important because as you can see at the moment, it's set to a two channel 96 kilobit per second. Now that's not going to be particularly high quality. So what you can do is you can actually change the send quality and put this in a lossless uncompressed format. So I would recommend putting this in PCM 24 bit because that way you know that you're not going to start to, um, you know, have any degradation of the sound before it goes to your, either your phone or for your clients or for your bandmates. This way, you just make sure that the quality is as, is as best as it possibly can be. So make sure you change the quality settings 
before you do any collaboration to ensure whoever's listening to it on the other end, whether it's yourself for the phone test or your collaborators, have the best quality audio that you can provide. So the last little feature I want to show you today is just there is a chat option as well, which I think is great. So if for whatever reason you can't speak to your collaborators by microphone or via video call, there is a great chat option. So if I open the chat here, I've already put a little message to myself saying, Smudge, you have a big nose. And you also smell very mature. So if I now go over to the phone and you'll see there's a chat option and you'll be able to see your messages and collaborate via the chat function inside of the plugin. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found this useful. I think this plugin can fill so many different spaces, whether it's just doing the phone test or collaborating in real time, and even with the addition of the chat function, I just think this is such a great, well thought out tool to use. And like I said, it's free, but I would just say if you do have the ability to donate to them, please do so because we need to be supporting these smaller companies. I'm not affiliated in any way, shape or form. They've not reached out to me to do a review of this product. So I just think this is great. It's really going to be such a useful tool for the community. I just wanted to show it to you guys. So hopefully you can add this into your workflow and then this is going to help you out in some way, shape or form. So all that's left for me to say is I hope you'll keep safe and well. If you do want to know more about digital mastering and digital audio, please hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. So I hope you'll keep safe and well, and I'll see you in the next video coming real soon.